a quick tip. Make sure you check out the description box below. What happens when two blood cells get married? They tie the clot. Hey guys, how are you? Today we're talking about the magic liquid, blood. It courses through our veins, the silent river of life, delivering oxygen, nutrients and essential cells to every corner of our body. But what if this vital fluid turns rogue? Blood clot disorders are silent killers, lurking in the shadows, ready to strike without warning. From deep vein thrombosis to pulmonary embolisms, these conditions can transform a routine day into a fight for survival. Today, we're going to talk about blood clotting, what disorders are related to it, and what you can do to prevent incidents. Without further ado, let's dive in! What is a blood clot? Coagulation, or clotting, is how your blood changes from a liquid to a gel to form a clot. This helps stop bleeding when you get a cut or injury. There are four simple steps to this process. Number one, activation. When you get a cut, your body signals for help. Platelets, which are tiny cell fragments in your blood, get activated. Number two, adhesion. These activated platelets stick to the walls of the damaged blood vessel. Number three, Aggregation. These platelets clump together to form a temporary plug at the site of the injury. Number 4. Fibrin deposition and maturation. A protein called fibrin is added to the mix, creating a stronger, more stable clot. This fibrin mesh helps to hold the platelets together and secure the clot in place. So now that we know that what blood clots are, let's talk about disorders that are related to them. Blood clotting disorders occur when blood forms clots more often than it's supposed to. Acquired blood clotting disorders can be caused by several factors. Number 1. Other health conditions. Diseases like cancer, obesity, or autoimmune disorders like lupus can lead to clotting problems. Number 2. Inactivity. Staying still for long periods such as after surgery or being on bed rest during pregnancy can increase the risk of clots. Number 3. Certain medication. Some drugs used to treat cancer or bleeding disorders can cause clotting issues. Number 4. Vitamin deficiency. Lacking vitamins B6, B12 or phyllet can raise levels of an amino acid called homostain which can lead to clots. Number 5. Infections. Serious infections like sepsis, HIV, or COVID-19 can also cause clotting problems. Symptoms of a blood clot can vary depending on where the clot is located, but common signs include Number 1. Swelling. If you notice new swelling in your arm or leg, it could be a sign of a blood clot. Number 2. Redness. Red or discolored skin in an affected area is another common symptom. Number 3. Pain or soreness. You might feel soreness or pain in your arm or leg, which can range from a dual ache to a severe discomfort. Number 4. Warmth. The area around the clot may feel warmer than the surrounding skin. Be aware that blood clots can be very dangerous. If a clot forms in the veins of your legs, arms, or groin, it can break loose and travel to other parts of your body. One of the most serious complications is when a blood clot reaches your lungs. A blood clot may have reached your lungs if you suddenly experience difficulty breathing. You may struggle to catch your breath. Chest pain. You could feel sharp pain in your chest, which may get worse when you breathe in deeply. Rapid heartbeat. Your heart might start beating very quickly. Fainting. You could feel lightheaded or actually faint. Mild fever. You might develop a slight fever. Cough. You could have a cough and it may or may not produce blood. Number 
Now, what should you do to prevent blood clotting? Here are some tips to help prevent blood clots. Number 1. Wear loose-fitting clothes, socks or stockings. This helps improve blood circulation and reduces the risk of clots. Number 2. Elevate your legs. Raise your legs about 6 inches above your heart periodically to help blood flow. Number 3. Use compression stockings. If your doctor prescribed them, wear these special stockings to improve blood circulation in your legs. Number 4. Exercise regularly. Follow any exercises your doctor recommends to keep your blood moving. Number 5. Change your position often. Especially on long trips, move around frequently to avoid staying in one position for too long. Number 6. Avoid prolonged sitting or standing. Don't stand or sit for more than an hour at a time to keep your blood flowing. Number 7. Reduce salt intake. Eating less salt can help prevent swelling and improve circulation. Number 8. Avoiding injuring your legs. Try not to bump or hurt your legs and avoid crossing them to prevent restricted blood flow. Number 9. Don't use pillows under your knees. This can restrict blood flow in your legs. Number 10. Elevate your bed. Raise the bottom of your bed by 4 to 6 inches using blocks or books to help blood flow back to your heart. Number 11. Take prescribed medications. Make sure to take all medicines your doctor prescribes to prevent clots. As we wrap up our conversation, remember that knowledge is power especially when it comes to safeguarding your health against the silent threat of blood clots. By staying informed and following these simple yet effective tips, you're taking proactive steps to protect yourself and your loved ones. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out the video on the end screen. Stay healthy and clotless. Until we meet again, take care!